Just want to let that play for the entirety. It would be <laughs> three minutes and 30 seconds of just gyrations. I'll dance around like a Boston. <laughs> Hype guy. Hey, 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 welcome everybody to the Full Spectrum Cycling Show. This being show number 257. Whoa. Oh, getting old. Uh, uh, I, I don't know who Carol is, but... Carol? I, I, I don't know. Oh, Carol. Apparently, I don't know. Somebody has I'll a number that must be similar to mine. You keep calling Carol? No, somebody... It's, she just says, I am at Pearson Keefe. What is your address, Carol? I don't know who she is. I'm interested in buying your property. Maybe you should I, give her an address and find out. Me. Tell her to come over. I don't know. I would, it would take button pushing and whatnots. We'll have to deal with this in 29 minutes from mm. now. Mm-hmm. Got a got a little pre a preemie here. This is a little pre show beer from uh, our buddies over Tomorphic. Best beer in River West right now. I'm sorry. Yep. There's well, no way you can. I'm eat sorry. It. Now the company's closed and right? other people are whatever. <laughs> Shitty. That said, a little bit later we do have another River West brewery. Although it's really, I, isn't isn't that downtown where Lakefront is? It's on the west side of the that's river. A, I know. Te- they do. It's actually they started in, in Wait river a second. West. They Technically, started in river west. it's on the north side of the river is where it actually is. That is true. Sure, sure. Well. Uh, yes. But they, they did also, they did start in river Right west. down the street. That is and right. they do make a mean beer. Don't get me wrong. Right. But Amorphic is currently they kicking had, everyone's ass. That's when they had the fun the fun tour at that one. That was I the rem- best. You know, Two bucks. A, here's a cup. Yeah. Drink, drink up. It, yeah. Drink until you don't want to drink anymore. Or until the next two Here's where we brew it. Or until, Here's where we yeah. drink it. Go. Or until Larry Curley or Mo was empty. Right. Some, uh, some <laughs> was way, yeah, that's right. That's what they did call so, it. So if I'm not mistaken, was it where the Seven Swans crappery is? Mm-hmm. No, it was in the same building that Scardina's is. Scardina's is. Okay. Yeah, so right through the alley right. of that first place. Which if they'd still been in that shithole, they would have been shut down because that building it's is condemned. condemned. <laughs> Thank you, Carson. Right on. We're driving that into the ground. I didn't even know where to start this week. There's, I mean, there's a lot of stuff to talk about. Okay, I thing number one, though. Frantic. I'm, I'm, I just want to so say. I'm like, I just, just want to say one thing. Boy. I'm so excited. <laughs> and I can't die. The Wu Tang bike is gone. Ah, <gasps> somebody bought it. Somebody bought it. At least it wasn't stolen. <laughs> no, not like the other one. <laughs> right. That I do like, still keep my like, eye out for it. that yellow one. That is. I was like, again, because that did come up just recently in the memories. Oh, and that's been a year already or whatever? Or one or two. Nerf. Wow. Uh, yeah, a lady was, I, they were up here for some reason from northern Illinois, and her son, younger kid, learned a lesson about his previous bike. <laughs> Got stolen. <laughs> Which, fortunately, was a little small for him anyway. So, boom. Yeah, yeah. So that's rolling down the road somewhere down there. I said, make sh-, and the I the guy that was with him was is a cop down there, so he... Hopefully knows enough to at least write the serial number down. If and not, write it in, record it in. If not to go to bikeindex.org where I would. Should be. You know, who's, I think I have one bike in there. My, oh, I have a bunch. I think my fat bike's in there. I should probably put every bike I have in I there. I have quite a few of them in there. Not yeah, but them, it's like a good, I mean, it's a good thing. Bikeindex.org is a database of your bike and everybody else's, hopefully. And most police departments use that as their kind of default database now if something gets stolen. I've even heard stories of bikes that were stolen here recovered in Portland. Yeah, I have too. Like <laughs> or wherever, far away from here. So there's definitely some organized crime involved in high end bicycles. Oregonized? Not Wisconsin Oregon, but Oregon out there on the West Coast. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> organized crime. Oh you Oh, that's pretty this is why you had a first of all. This is why you had a show with Ken Keen because <laughs> maybe he'll get your rapid fire wordplay like that. Just doesn't come net zinging right over my brain area because <laughs> I'll uh, slow it down. Yeah, thank on you. Ether. Much <laughs> it's a great episode. I know, right? There, you're going to get your uh, cultural uh, phenomenon. Uh, Illusions on the show tonight. Uh, this morning, dropping off Daniel, one of the other parents mentioned that their kid knows the theme song to Scooby Doo. He's like, "Someone taught him that." I'm like, oh, "I'm gonna plead guilty for that." Does it go tra la la? <laughs> no, they got it. Does not. It's banana splits. It does not. I actually had that vinyl from the back of a cereal box. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, you peel it Those off the box and the throw days. it on your forty-five. That was so. That Those was so. The they days. should do that again. That was the greatest thing since sliced bread. I still have the CD Saturday mornings. Car- Saturday uh, blah, blah. Saturday morning cartoons greatest hits. Is that the, the one covers. with all the did Wisconsin you say hits people or that did the something covers? Else? It's got some, but it not kids from Wisconsin. Is that got like it's I'm got, just a bill? No, yes. that's okay, uh, Sesame okay. Street stuff, man. No, this is no, that was well, electric the Fems, company. The Fems no. do uh, Sesame Street. Eep op orc ah uh, ah. Uh, that means I love you is by the Fems. So okay. technically, yeah. I heard oh, they're back they do, like, together. Gigantor. I heard they're doing a tour. <sighs> well, what Richie and two, th- Gano, two thirds of them are doing. I heard the whole group and again. Victor? I heard what? Victor Lorenzo's with them. I saw. I've set. I've spent like two weeks, but I saw a post on it. All right. Maybe they've digressing from the list. All right. Back Victor to the list. Dealer. So. He's I ro- awesome. I, I rode my bike. I rode my bike to many of either 1913 Victor DiLorenzo solo or violent femme shows. The 1913 is badass. Yeah, so they are. I'm putting fantastic it all back show. into the bike realm. It's, there you go. it's a fantastic tissue. show. As long as it says something about a bike in I'm the show at you. some point. We were just discussing with people pre show over to the Amorphic about. What's your show about? And we're like, mm, hmm. after 257 episodes, you think we could tell you? But not really. Bicycle By the way, I, I listened to the episode where tangential. I wasn't part of the the show. And the panel? That, that, big, that big sexy show sounded like a real shit show as far as him breaking 10 spokes. and Oh, my God. Her, or tornado. And All right. So you know Red, our buddy Joe Schuler. Yeah, I know Joe. Okay, so his... I totally I, thought you were going to talk so much. I think it's his, if it's dad or his uncle maybe, has like an older, probably 60s oh. Schwinn tricycle for sale for like a couple hundred bucks. I, I saw said, that. You said it yeah. to me. And aren't we thinking that that's a better bike we than the piece it. of oh, shit that God. comes out of Amazon or he, where... He could probably go eight miles an hour on that. I'm just thinking he wouldn't break wheels because right. they that, actually are probably made out good. of semi-quality-ish materials from back in the, you know... And handmade. The Chicago or... I. And I'm pretty sure it must have been made in Chicago, but I'd at least like to check it out. And I'm almost going to well, take a, a point guy. So yeah, I may there. take a trip up there and go up and see Schlebowski and, uh, you know, go right through there and check that thing out. So who knows? And Schlebowski jumped in my right pocket at the rollout. I didn't even <laughs> realize it was him. And I'm just like, oh, hello. Hello, sir. How yep. are you? And I'm like, oh, it's you. <laughs> like, he was <laughs> he was down here to take care of his uh, his <laughs> daughter's Tony's house. Ostensibly right? take care of his daughter's dog yeah. and slash house. And uh, we also did kind of an Omnium overview video here, which he's already posted. I'm like, gee, don't do, or, do you have like 28 he hours? Up in north. He's got nothing else to do. Oh, that could be. I do believe, I think, if I haven't, I did. I put a link in the show notes. It's actually pretty good. It's about his bike as a dog packing bike and the Mini Max and the differences and blah, blah, blah. Um, I saw it posting. I just didn't have Yeah, go ahead and yet. check it out or, or don't. Definitely. Either I didn't way. Do it before the show, though. I had to work. I, don't you see? I had to work. Is that work, Garb? Yes. Yes. I got no collar. But summary. I got no collar. I want a collar. But summary. I also always uh, keeping the tradition alive. Another WMNC shirt. Oh. Every day this year so far. Nice. I got the polka ride today. That's a nice one. I like that. So uh, I got another Omnium Mini Max electric. You got a small one? I did. Where is it? It's in the other room. It's is not, it rideable? Not yet. Oh, I got it. We got to make it put together. Yeah. But I, I think I mentioned this last week on the show with Zach. By the way, thanks, Zach, for being on yeah, the show. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think it actually, he should be on the show more often because good stuff. Yeah, he's a good dude. Yeah, I, I think I mentioned it last week. I'm like right dead nuts on the dividing line between the two I sizes. I agree. Get, getting your leg over that as the same height as you. Yeah, I think the small well, might, yeah. and the length might be just enough to reel it in a little. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. And I so I do want... Bars with slightly more sweep, too, which might mean longer stem. Or I don't know. I, we're going to monkey with this stuff. Well, the longer but sweep, it, you might want to go with the medium. <laughs> yeah, just that I'm not quite sitting on. It's I've got the traditional old school, back when Schwinn's were made in Chicago, one inch over the top tube. Gotcha. But I like two or three inches over the top tube. And I especially like a top tube that has a drop to it. So my nads are protected. Just in case. Why? What are you going to use those for? Nothing. See? Anymore. 
Me neither. Made kids. What do I have to do now? I took now, care of that, if man. I, I, they'd just be getting me in trouble again. Right. Sean. Sean. Old neighbor Sean. Remember old neighbor Sean? My neighbor Sean? He has a review on some fancy website that is about his... The new band? The, the album, Fates of Death, Stuck for Slaughter. That is awesome. I liked when they played on the porch next to you during the 24, but that, Dude, eat. that wasn't Fates of Death at no, the point. No. But, yeah. It's Sean's def- a great musician. It's definitely death metal. Oh, yeah. Influenced, if not full on death it metal. Bludgeons the listener with combinations of riffs, groove, and moderate tempos and a similar approach conducted by Bludgeons. Master Asphyx and Modern Carcass. Yes. <coughs> that Bludgeons. Sounds like a death metal review. Oh, we got to throw it on, but whatever. Uh, it's something I to didn't... check out. I'm pretty sure we could use it as a theme song. I don't think he'd care. I'm sure he'd let us. I saw the link <laughs> on the social medias and whatever earlier He today. tagged me, and I and I'm just like, forgot. I was like, oh. I love Sean. The, that's the name of his band. But it, I, I, I love Sean I didn't a lot. put it together. I didn't you know what I love most? Him not being your neighbor anymore. Exactly. <laughs> not living next door to him. So apparently the drummer has a bunch of other projects, so he's trying to find somebody to actually go out and do shows with. He's always seemed to have a little bit of an was issue. Was that the dude that had with, the double drum or the double? Uh, it wasn't the dude who had the kit that looked bigger than Neil Peart's and kit. And sounded terrible, that guy? And probably sounded really good in his bedroom playing to Metallica or something. But, yeah, he couldn't play with a lot. The only band. way he sounded good playing with Metallica is if he couldn't hear himself playing while listening to Metallica. That guy was terrible. He just Actually, couldn't. He couldn't. He was it was better, cringeworthy. It was so better than Better than Lars. <laughs> Zing. Oh. 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 Fuck Lars, man. I'm serious. I've had up to here with you, Lars. Wait, do you hear the Lars helicopter coming? <laughs> Disparaging words. If we were live streaming, I'd, I'd be a lot more worried right now. <laughs> here comes Lars. Piss on a turd. So, what did you? Uh, what did you have going on at the old Bayview Gallery night rollout? thing even though i know i was with you but what'd you think um it's always a good time it always is it depends on what crew you latch on to and what you end up doing if you volunteer you know you're always going to volunteer and it'll be fun no matter what you're going to do i try to alternate year like be a participant one year volunteer the other this was sort of a half a year because the volunteerism wasn't really that hard no well it doesn't have to be Sometimes it's all just works out. It was actually, like I, and it worked I, out. I mean, and was, thank God I could escort you on the yeah task that you were assigned. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I was like, hey, I'm here to help out. Okay, well, can you take a stamp over to one of the stops? Yes. Sure. Uh, Which wh- was wh- that big ass house yeah. on KK? The the zombie house. Oh, oh yeah, nice. Man. That is, what is it called? Ferndale, Ville, Bernsteinville, or something. Fern, well, yeah, the Google map assigned it to c- calling it Ferndale, which sounds That's like That's one of the huge lawn. Yeah. But, I mean, Ferndale sounds like it a- It has to have been one of the like first old, houses in the area. Well, it yeah. sounds like an old-time, like, sanitarium or something. <laughs> like, and Santa it's a big, weird, freaky house. Or a brothel. It's a big, weird, freaky house. It, must it wouldn't have been, surprise me if it was, like, well, a, just home, how it, a home for the nervous. <laughs> right. How, it, how it's situated like up there, I would it's say- It's a weird, weird situation. It, it would have been the first- Building built in that area. Yeah, pretty now sure. it's Studio K, Flamenco, and it's a, really? oh, they had uh, what do they call those maraca thingies? Canast Costanza. What? C- 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 Costanzas. C- Costanzas. C- <laughs> Canastas. No. What the hell are those called? Canastas. Canasta. It's called a canasta. <laughs> I don't think it is. Is it? I'm calling it that. Okay. Yeah. We'll Castenia, go with that. Maybe. <laughs> Then, yeah. Radio viewers, I think there's a tilde. There's a tilde. I believe that was one of the tasks you had to play them to. And yeah. then they had the box that you sit on and you thump on it. Oh, and I, like I thought the box was broken, but it actually has like strings inside Co- yeah, the box that stuff, kind of yeah. vibrate. I'm like, what's going on here? Yeah. It was cool. They're fun. Yeah. yeah. It was cool. Yeah. And they were kind of freaked out because they thought we That's were prodigal Because we were there early. Tool. We were there like, we got up there before six or about six. And the rollout itself started at six, but their event didn't start till six thirty. So they were starting to fr- like get frantic. Yeah, well, they should have because they and were behind just, the eight ball. I was just like, well, they had a half hour. I was like, oh no, no, no! I all I, I'm only here to drop off the stamp. And 
I would get yeah, my breath. I think they would have because I had to deal I with think the they damn headwind. Fucked up for another and twenty a big minutes, damn though. Fucking driveway, and there was no sneak attack. You had to come up the driveway. There was no, <laughs> there was no sneak attack either, which would have been interesting. <laughs> and then the rest of the time was well. Via Bill was saying, "Oh, why don't you just go over to Mothership and assist and hang out with uh, Jeff El Rongo, Jeff?" Yeah, well, I didn't do that. Which we did. Which we did. And true to form, because it was one of the closest ones to the end of the event. About ten minutes before the end of the event, lots and lots of people showed up. Oh yeah, to do the task, which was to take a postcard kind of thingy that was blank on the front, do some artwork on it, which some was really cool. Yeah, very. Put that one in unaddressed into a pile and then take one out of the pile of already done ones, put somebody's address on that, cool, and send that off to wherever it would go. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it was a good idea. I like that idea. And delivery date, TBD. Which you never know when it's going to Yeah, right. Exactly. (laughs) That's awesome. But yeah, it was a great time. And it was funny, too, because it was kind of a test of Will's, (laughs) where Jeff's like, well, it, it. it's technically over. <laughs> I should be closing up shop here, but all right, I'll let you go. Yeah. Scanlon? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was funny. I was like, I don't know. I, you a little I don't know where the real like hard line came. It's like, if you didn't get back to the start finish by the end time, were you penalized or <laughs> no, I think I, it's a pretty loose. It was like eight, thing. Eight, by eight thirty, you had to, by eight thirty, you had to get your raffle tickets. Oh, copy of that. Oh, then so that was it was a scavenger. However many stamps you got, that's how many tickets you got, and then you win your it prizes from there. Yeah, you get your little, you know, hamburger. Look at you guys ring almost ring done ring with your beer. Spe- speaking of uh, Bayview, I'm going to give a shout out a to little Sam ring D. Dingy. Sam D was on the thing. Sam Sam D. Yeah. He, he uh, was so he came over to our house and he saw that Molly was planting hostas, and he's like. I have to dig out some hostas. Do you want them? Do you want more hostas? No, anymore. Or daylilies or... I'd take any... some daylilies, but... I got daylilies that are creeping you, into my yard. I'd I will tell take you, all of your rhubarb. I filled my entire I have, fiat. You know how big my rhubarb gets to, right? I don't know. It's they large gi- rhubarb. Yeah, they're will, gigantic. I got ginormous rhubarb. Take some you know why? I can take I think some of that off your head. Because that's where all the pumpkins go to die at oh, the end that's of Halloween. Oh, fertilizer. It goes right into the rhubarb patch. And then they patch. come up like a phoenix of rhubarb. Yeah. <laughs> Sam, um... Usually my Dave, neighbor steals it all, but maybe you come over uh, there and grab it before You come over there and get that rhubarb. That's right. Yeah, Sam, Sam, Sam gave us an entire fiat, a big fiat, which is a joke, I know, full of hostas, giant leaf hostas. One of them called strip teas. He has a lot of nice plants in his backyard. For such a small yard, that dude's got it going But it's all so nicely done, too. It's like, wow. You know, he works with those little tiny figures, too. He's getting glasses, he told me. He's got to go get glasses. Well, he he has tiny figures. figures anymore. Those are, he does, what does he do them for? It's some kind of it's a, game. It's a game. Yeah, it's some, his, but they're very small. Yeah. And I always see heads and arms and feet and torsos. He is so detailed. It is insane. Yeah, and they're all hardcore. completely original and nobody else has one Hand like painted, whatever he makes. everything. Yeah, and he's exactly. hardcore. About it. It's gorgeous. Right on. Yeah. Oh, oh, we got. Uh, Speaking okay. of winning little bells, what should we call That's what people were winning were little bells. It's so, uh, the top of the hill bell. Bill won a hamburger bell. I did. That's why I'm thinking of the bells. Do you have a hamburger bell? I do. Did you get a hamburger bell? Not from that event, but I have won one in the past that is sitting oh, right on my on. desk. I think Cyclist Choice is the house brand for Olympic Supply, with whom I used to work back in the olden times, and was the only person ever in the history of the company to collect unemployment because I was unwrongfully terminated. <laughs> Uh oh, I th- I want to put it in this cup, but I'm not. I'm drinking it straight from the can. All right, so JK, oh, actually, that's not a bad idea. JK picked up this um, Lakefront Brewery. They do a thing called My Turn. Apparently, this is the is that 51 means the 51st one they've done. I can only imagine. I, I would. Th- I mean, mm-hmm. our friend Colin, who's 10 years so gone, it says My Turn series, eight 51. years gone from Milwaukee, had one way back in the day. That punk ass. Punk ass, bitches. Um, never calls in, never does gives us time of day. Well, fuck you, Colin. Pretty sure he'll tell you, Colin. Then pretty sure he'll call in next week. No. Right. <laughs> I know he listens to the show. He's our listener. I'm pinching him in the ass. So anyway, uh, people that work at the brewery get to that get their chance to do a brew 
of their choosing and or design. And this is Jake. He's the seller master, I believe, is what I understand. I believe. Seller, seller, seller. Yes. It says on the thing here, seller operator is the term. Seller operator. That is actually utilized in Jake's description. This guy's got a killer beard if this picture's real. Job. Oh, yes, yeah. And speaking of reels, he's fishing, so. Uh, yeah. See, uh, see how I oh, did that? Oh, look at that. You did that well. So it's Somer S with a umlaut. Umlaut. We have um, umlaut. Apparently, it's like a cousin of a Maybach. Momer, mom, momer Fest. It's a golden multi liquid. Sweet Munich style lager, a beer garden treat. Don't see where it tells me how booze holly it is. I don't think there's particularly booze. Um, I think it's you're, five eight. Yeah, your typical German beer garden yeah. people want to stay there for a long time and don't want to get. Oh, it's cute. Completely Please recycle blotto. me. I want to come back. <laughs> Could have left off the back. Be fine. Yeah, Zing. He, yeah, this is a guy who works uh, occasionally as security as well down at the Ye Old Nomad. Right. Oh, all he right. Okay. To. Okay. All right. To. Okay. I did, it's not like I thought that I knew him, but I maybe saw his visage yeah. somewhere in the past. Yeah. And he's a very avid. Oh, fisherman. that's drinkable. Very avid. Very avid <laughs> fisherman. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And he's got two pooches that are pooches that very poach. cool. <laughs> I don't know these pooches. How come I don't know Lucy these pooches? Lucy and uh, I can't remember another but one. She's got some splaining to do. She's yeah. got some splaining to do. Yeah. He's always hanging at Caddish and then going down. And hitting the river. So I couldn't figure Casting out, I, you know, I, I ride pretty much the same route daily to take Daniel to school. And lately we go through Grant Park and there's four vehicles that are already parked. They're always parked there. Gordon Park. Thank you. Gordon Park. Grant Park. Yeah. If you went to Grant <laughs> Park, like, you'd, that's be, a long ride. you'd be doing a, like, a long ride. We're taking the, the long way. Yeah. You're taking the push. So the <laughs> we see these same four cars and they're not. Homeless people sleep in their car. So, like, one's a Tesla, one's a super high end Toyota, et cetera. Got goddamn uh, $800 fly rods down on our river, don't they? Well, yeah, I was riding by one day earlier and I see these guys unloading like gear and I'm like, oh my God, these four guys are here every day to fish. Oh, shit. Well, since yeah. they took all the damn dams out of the damn river, damn they got it. some decent fish in there right. now and it's also flushed out pretty well. So, they're not inedible oh and i think on um uh, this jake's face place he had a video of them seeding or feeding the river yeah with well neighbor a sean boat load a boat load of fish to well swim. neighbor sean said they also fed uh the the Esterbrook park past. pond you know, oh that, yeah, that, he's like that's one of the few places in Milwaukee that you don't need a fishing license. Is that right? To fish in, he captures and really, I believe. he catches and releases there. He's like, it's incredibly fun to take a kid to because there's so many fish there now. They just bite, you catch them, pull them off the hook, throw them back. You know what they need there? More herons because herons love fish. Yeah, they do, and I'd, I'd love to watch herons <laughs> eat them. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. It's nothing like a snowy. As a non-fish eater, I would love to watch the f birds eat the fish. <laughs> I, uh, I'll i eat ocean fish. So. I'll eat a tuna if it's caught 10 feet from me, which yeah. is what I did last time I ate tuna. There you go. In Costa Rica. Yeah. yeah. And then Cleon stole it. Damn, damn, damn girl. kids. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but it's been in the show notes for like a month. And I probably mentioned it, but if I didn't, I forgot. Grin. First of all, we talked, I think we talked about their fat. We got to talk about their fat bike hub pretty soon. We haven't done that yet. But their Grin LIGO, remember, we have yep, a bunch yep, of LIGOs. the new one's out. 10X. I don't know if it's actually available yet, but it came up. It was, it, we're like, the old one had all these, like, cables, like, almost this long of a cable right mm -hmm. here. Ooh, I better not do that. That might disconnect the drive or something stupid. But it was kind of long. And I'm like, what if they made one that just slammed together with a nice clickety-clacky system? They did that. And the only reason that it didn't come out longer ago than now is they wanted it UL certified after that whole fricka fracker right. with the UL business to get it certified. And so they had to redo their BMS to be UL compliant certified. with the whatever. But there is a YouTube video and it, it's really cool. I can't wait till it's actually available because I want to watch it. It's a stacker. It's like boom, bitty, boom, bitty, boom, bitty, uh, boom, bitty, boom. 36 or 72. seven miles, 14 miles, 21 miles, you know, whatever. However many miles yeah. you just stack miles together until you get as heavy as you want to get. And then you're done. Oh, fuck it. 
Um, 36 volt? <laughs> oh, yeah. Tony got a freaking haircut, bro. Yeah, I got them all cut. I keep going back. Like I do this all the time. It's oh, you do still have color 21, in there. 21,000 steelhead. Oh, there they go. Look going, at that. Going spitting right into the river. That's right a lot of steelhead. Right. Those are little fingers. <laughs> God, those are, those are like fingerlings. They're yeah, like, but those fuckers are going to be like, I want to break free. Somebody's going to eat about half of them, some bigger guy. But some of them will probably make it into your frying pan at home at some point. Yes, as he is a very avid fisherman. Nice. <laughs> well, well, you know, thank you. I mean, when your job is right on the river, and yeah, if why and not, it, and if you haven't done the lakefront brewery brewery uh, tour, they basically have comedians get ready for jokes. They don't yes. have to tell jokes. I think most of them probably work at comedy sports or some such. I know. If you if they if don't you don't do it with Russ, I mean. There's a Jim. Jim. If you don't do Either a Jim clip, he is so funny during that tour. It is absolutely hilarious. I, good I love that tour. I've done it a bunch of times. I, I, I like when <laughs> Russ was the funny one when I kept taking out the piece of plastic so I could do skid contests outside. And he oh, that was funny. Throwing it back in, and I kept jumping I think back that in. was the last MMI that actually was there, wasn't it? Or was it a uh, Steel was, Israel? Oh, it was a, a Steel Israel, probably. It was, a, uh, it was either Steel Israel or... A Fat Tire Tour. Fat Tire Tour. Well, speaking of Fat Tire Tour by Cracky, it's only a couple weeks away. It's June. Yeah, it's June. Is. It's uh, June fifteenth. Ah, yes, the day that is packed with everything. And the next day, guess what it is? My son's graduation. So, mm, I mean, I can do it, but I can't do it like I, I did it. I can in do the, past. the beginning. I'm gonna, <laughs> Shit, I, can, I think it's my daughter's graduation too. The sixteenth or the fifteenth? The fifteenth is a Saturday. Uh, again, Mister oh, Dave oh, Shlowski will be in your pocket once again on the fifteenth, huh? doing the. If I miss that, steel is real. Or no, so uh, sorry, sorry, fat tire tour. And guess what? The uh, the official release of this beer is also on the 15th. Oh, at awesome. The, at the Nomad at some point in time during the day. And lastly, but mostly. Oh, also, is the turf damn thing. Mostly right? least. <laughs> That's taking precedence. Which, is that the 15th? Oh, yes. Son of the bitch. And so is uh, Summer Solstice. Strangelander is playing oh, early geez. in the day. That's going to be a tough day not to oh. imbibe too much. Though we could ride a lot of miles and burn off a lot of stuff. Uh, I did want to make sure that uh, Excuse me. I'm not sure it works for me, but apparently, and I got to make sure he actually bought a ticket. <laughs> uh, Dave Luns dot com <laughs> ha- <laughs> has, I think, but like it's June 28th to July 3rd. Bikes, boat, and a goat going over to Michigan, doing some riding, blah blah blah, oh. across the lake on the Badger coal-fired ah. steamer ship. Cleveland but, steamership. <laughs> but it's July 3rd when they get back, and, you know, it's kind of like my birthday's the next yeah, day and stuff. I don't know. That's going to be a hard sell. We'll That's have to. July, man. There's so much going on in June. It's Our, only 29, 30 days away from yeah, now. Yeah, but I got to see like, two nights of They Might Be Giants. I got to. Is that in June? It's in June. Okay. Is it at Summerfest? No. No, I don't go to Summerfest. Do you know what band I want to see at Summerfest? Someone hopefully you can see outside of Summerfest? No, Living Color, because that, oh, that'd, be cool. that'd be a good show. Otherwise, good show. Little River Band. <clears throat> but they're both at like, uh, I think Little River Band's at 415 and 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 Living Color, Living Color, which would be awesome if Lenny Kravitz was in that zone somewhere. Anyway. I can't, I can't poach the the Marcus, uh, Marcus Downey Jr. stage, not the Marcus. Oh, I saw Marcus Downey Jr. today. <clears throat> But he bought me lunch. Thank you very US, much, Marcus. At the U.S. Cellular, I think it's the 21st of June. I'm standing in June. I'm standing in that, that first got batch it, of it. it. EMF. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. Oh! Electromagnetic dun, 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 function. What is EMF? Dun, 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 it's just a one-hit wonder from the 90s. Electro. Yeah, unbelievable. Oh! I remember the song. Yes. Okay. I would not have given it's you them. the band name. Huh? Really? I would have known it right away. As soon as he said the name, I'm like, that's freaking my mess. Oh! It's them. Modern English. Oh, yeah. Modern English is on and Marcus's Jesus stage. Jesus Jones. Oh. Jesus Jones, who had to cancel last year oh, because their, be a good show. Their, their agent or whatever didn't file their passport uh, paperwork in time. Aren't they right here, right now? Right yeah. here, right now. There's you guys no are other place. Jesus. I want it. 
an international okay, that, bright one thing. That's a okay. Now I suddenly <laughs> want to go to Summerfest. <laughs> I'd love to poach that show, but I can't. Yeah, modern yeah. English is early in the day too, like six p.m. ish. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah you stop. Go the there, and get your can of get right. your get your cans of beans out. Get your free entry. You know how much it costs to get in there this year if you don't have a can of beans? Twenty eight dollars. Twenty eight dollars. And you know how much that jackass gets of every ticket? Three point three million dollars. Seven dollars per ticket. No. He's done. At, oh, he's, he's done. Sweet. Well, sweet, no, he's still smiley. Smiley. He's still gone. somehow in there. And and Scott Zeal, who is an awesome dude, is now the master of the place. But there's still some connection to Don Smiley for some reason this year. The logo. Oh, for crying out loud! <laughs> Remember Guy Smiley from the Muppets? How are you doing? <laughs> all right, that's I all. Can't do it. Can't do it anymore. Uh, we could though. We could keep going, but no. Next week we can do it again. Yes. It'll be show number 258, where we will probably we'll be, do almost exactly the same thing we did this yes, week, we only may, with different topics and subjects. And maybe we'll introduce the month of July into things. Ooh. Oh. Wow. Oh. We haven't even I, I had to put a cap on that, because well, we, we, we just kept going and going. We haven't going. even got out of June yet for crime and Thank you. That's Bye. 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 Yeah.